What's up, guys, and welcome back to Scum. Now, as you can see, we are here at the airfield. And you might be able to tell that there are no sentries. And that is because the poll is currently showing that more people want no sentries, so you guys like it better when it's a little bit more casual than people that do want the sentries. So, for right now, we're going to go with no sentries. Um, but we still have the increased puppet numbers and the uh, low player count mode. So, puppets will already be spawned here. And I did try to get into that building. I, I was right, it did have security lockers in it. Um, I found a screwdriver with one use. Not really worth trying to use that on the security lockers in there. But in one of the boxes that didn't require lockpicking, I found an extra magazine for the M9. So we have one spare magazine for this now that has four whole bullets in it. So, yay. That, that, that'll, that'll work out real well for us. Ah, uh, and other than that, I I rode back to base and dumped all the stuff that we had in here. So we're we're good to go. We should have room for stuff and things. Now, I'm not sure how close I want to try to get with the bicycle because obviously the bicycle can't really do a whole heck of a lot as far as taking out the puppets, but we can get a little bit closer anyway. What I would kind of like to do is get somewhat close to these Quonset huts over here. And I think that's a friendo out in the middle of the, the thing there. The runway, that's the word I'm looking for. But you can see, if, if that is a puppet, which I'm fairly certain it is, can I... Yeah, it is. You see, it's it's slowly moving. So you can see how far away they spawn with this low player count mode on. And they should be populated throughout this entire area. But, anywho, we're going to see if we can't get a little bit closer over here. Uh, also, um... When you suggested that I should try, since we have the Halloween update currently going, I should try to get the Cursed Puppet suit. And so perhaps we will try for that. We need candles. I don't remember how many. You guys, you told me in the comments, but I don't remember all the details. I know you need like ten bones, I think two puppet eyes, a skull, and some number of candles. But I don't remember how many. But anyway, the only thing that's difficult to get a hold of there really is the candles. And I think we can buy those. What kind of pain points we got? Okay, a whopping 42. Fantastic. So, we're actually not too far from being able to interact with the weapons trader. I don't remember what you need for the general store, if you need anything. But, anywho. I did go ahead and make some more arrows as well. So we have two full stacks of arrows, so that should be enough to get us through here, I hope. Except a lot of these guys are going to be armored. Now, if it still seems like there's not enough puppets or not enough of a challenge, we will up the puppet numbers some more. And if after a couple of videos with no sentries, you guys decide that you do want the sentries on, then we can turn those back on. Me personally, I don't like the sentries, and you guys know that. But, in the interest of keeping the videos interesting, I would like to try them out at least occasionally. Also, I'm trying a different headset tonight, and it's, it's weird because there's a little bit of uh, like, my voice vibrates through the headset a little bit more. Oh, 
Oh, crap. There we go. No Mr. Happy's in here, though, huh? Oh, that's not the one I was trying to hit, but that's okay. Drat, I missed you. <laughs> I think I got that last one as a headshot. From that that distance with this crappy bow, that's actually impressive to me. Okay, also, um, I have upped the loot. The loot now is sitting at... You know what? Nah, we don't need that. The loot is now sitting at 2x. Since we had essentially really crappy loot the last time, pretty much all of you said to go ahead and up the loot some. Now, I'm not going to be turning it up any higher than this, and if this... If, if we're finding just a whole crap load of stuff, then we'll turn it back down some. Because I don't want this to be too easy for us. But I don't want it to be... You know, there there needs to be a reason to loot these places. It, if you're going through places and finding no loot at all, then it's not worth it, you know? Ooh, okay. Hey, screwdriver, thank you. Okay. Puppet eye. We'll take that. You know what? I will take those. I don't like the the bright colored beanie. No offense to rake it. I just don't like that. Ooh. Are we wearing what what gloves are we wearing currently? Oh, we're already wearing tactical gloves. Fantastic. Hmm. I I honestly like the color of the other ones better. Yeah, I like those a little better. Okay. So let's see what the extra loot looks like. Spicy me. See, I personally, I, what do you, what's your guys' opinion on spicy? <laughs> spicy food. I personally hate it. Like, I, I can't handle any spice at all. Like salt and pepper is about as spicy as I can get with things. Ooh, I do like the camo beanie though. Hey, eh, no. No, I want I want those. But yeah, I, I cannot handle spicy food at all. Like hey, I will take those. Like spicy food will pretty much kill me. You know, we we have a workshop at at the base. It's not going to hurt to stockpile some gunpowder, right? I don't remember if the smoke grenades sell worth a crap or not. What I'm really hoping to find is some more ammunition, magazines. Ooh. Now, the combat helmet is one that I do actually like. It really doesn't go with my current um, gear and whatnot, but I do like the combat helmets. I could take the other one Okay, we, that's all the gunpowder that I'm going to take for right now. 
I should try to take that, probably. I don't know how valuable those things are either. <clears throat> Ooh, military compass. Ooh, 100% military compass. Yes, please. And a backpack with no damage even. Hot diggity. Look at that. You get in here for now. Because here's the other problem. We're still using a bicycle, and it has no storage on it. So, we can only carry what we can actually physically carry. Oh, who? Okay, well, you can see how many puppets there are. There's one there. There's f at least four over there. I'm pretty sure I see... Yep, another one stumbling around the bushes over there. Okay, let's go out the other door. Because I don't want to walk into the middle of that with just a bow and arrow and a pistol with one magazine. And the pistol is unsuppressed still, remember. Oh, hi, friendo. Hi. Hi. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. Yeah, come on. There we go. Oh, there you are. I know I could hear you somewhere, but... Oh, that was close. Now, fortunately, with the bow, we are managing to actually stay stealthy. Now, I am curious, too. I shouldn't jinx it, but I have yet to hear Mr. Happy. Shush. No grumbling. <laughs> Dang, that was actually a good shot. Out of this crappy little bow, we got a headshot from all the way across one of these Quonset buildings. Ooh, bullets. Uh, it's for the Val. I'm not crazy about the Val. Just from the standpoint of ammo is somewhat difficult to find, but that's true of any of the rifles. Which is unfortunate, because I would really like to use some of the rifles this time. You know... Actually, yeah, I was supposed to search you guys because you might have screwdrivers on you. Also, I still need puppet eyes, don't I? Hey, there's an eyeball. Give me that. Can I stack? No. Okay. I think we only needed two? I think. I hope. 357. We'll take that. You... Screwdriver, please. That's not a screwdriver. Whoop, hey. Dang it. Uh, 44 ammo. I really, really don't... Mm, I don't have a 44. And I don't necessarily want a 44.
Now that I will take. A stun grenade. Sure, I guess. Now again, the problem here. Ooh, 38. I will take those. I do like the 38 revolver. For whatever reason, I really like the 38 revolver. I like the look of the 38 revolver. And we have one, actually, don't we? I do believe so. Now, we're still not finding a tremendous amount of loot. I mean, half of this stuff has been empty still. So, I don't feel too bad about this level of loot. Yeah, see, we're still finding a whole lot of nothing a lot of the time. Ooh, hey, just a more plain beanie. I do like that. But considering we can't carry a whole lot of stuff right now, I'm not going to bother just trying to pick up everything and pretty much anything that's not directly usable for me, I'm probably not going to pick up right now. Not until we have a vehicle. Ooh, hey, are those... Um, those aren't bad. I like those. We'll take those. Hi, friendos. I see you over there. Over yonder. God, can I get you from here? Yes, I can. Come on. Come closer. Thank you. Oop, I hear somebody off to my right. We've got to make this quick. Crap, I missed. Stop jumping. Oh, stop jumping! Ow, you jackass. Okay, if it's just one, then I can deal with that. Oh. There's another one behind you there. Oh, I really would like a better bow than this. Crap. I overshot. Thank you. We good. I think we're good. Hey, wait a minute. Screwdriver. I know I'm supposed to also be get. Oh, crap. I didn't even get any of my arrows out of you. 30 out 6. I do like the 30 out 6. I very much like the 30 out 6. I'm still waiting for them to add the uh, the SKS, which they still sometimes have the M1 labeled as the SKS. I have noticed anyway. Now I'm hoping that they implement the SKS the way that DayZ did, to where it's still just the classic the hell the classic SKS. Not like a tacticalized one that uses essentially AK magazines. I want it to still just be the standard SKS that uses... Hi. Good lord, there are a lot of you. Well, that was just horrible. That uses either stripper clips...
you know, a 10 round stripper clip or that you just top load the rounds one at a time. I don't really care which one they go with, but I would like to see it implemented that way rather than trying to make it with a detachable box magazine. There you are. Where? How far in there? Uh, crap. There we go, perfect. Way too far. To the left. Damn it, would you just get hit with my arrows, please? Stop Matrix dodging my arrows. Damn you and you, you're slowly swaying back and forth. It's making me miss horrendously because I'm just a bad shot. Oh, I see several friendos out there. Ooh. Yeah, several. Okay. Ha-ha! Also, one of you had mentioned that um, Mr. Happy is technically called a suicide puppet, which is accurate, yes. But that's also sort of inaccurate, because the only reason that he's called a suicide puppet is because he's wearing a suicide vest, which you also pointed out. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to go over why I call him Mr. Happy, because clearly he's not actually happy. If you listen to him, he actually talks about how he's in pain and uh, that he has a family, which is kind of disturbing, considering none of the other puppets talk. So that kind of makes you wonder, is Mr. Happy actually, truly a reanimated corpse like the rest of these puppets? Because if so, he wouldn't be feeling pain, and he shouldn't have any memory of his family, but he does. And so that's a little concerning. But, the reason that I call it Mr. Happy is because I just kind of wanted something that stood out. You know, he, uh, my thought on it is he's, he's laughing all the time. Ooh, hey. I don't like you, but hey. You know, oh, yes, there we go. But he's laughing all the time. Really, there's only a couple bullets. All right. And so, I originally was going to call him something like, you know, the laugher or the joker something. I don't know. I was trying to figure out what to call him. And just none of that stuff quite fit or just kind of sounded right to me. So I settled on... Ooh, crap. So I settled on Mr. Happy because I thought, well, he's always laughing at something. He's he's just a happy guy, even though he very obviously is not. But uh, that's why I call him Mr. Happy. It, it's ooh. it's it's just because I wanted him to have some kind of name that stood out, rather than just calling it a suicide puppet or whatever.
But anyways, that's that's just my whole thought process. It's not really technically accurate to call him Mr. Happy because he's definitely not actually happy. But it's also not necessarily accurate to call him a suicide puppet, which is what the game actually labels it as. Just because the whole reason that it's labeled as a suicide puppet is because it's wearing a suicide vest, not because it's actually intending to be, you know, a uh, a suicide you know, bomb or anything like that. But just because he's wearing the vest. How much insulation does that thing give? Because this gives four, right? That gives three. Okay. I'm trying to decide. That jacket goes with the helmet that we have. How's about we... Do Ooh, you take up a lot of space. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to throw that out there in case anybody has been wondering why I call the Suicide Puppets Mr. Happy. That's why. It, there's not really a good reason other than I wanted a unique name for it. Something that would just kind of stand out. No, didn't we pick up a stack of 9mm just a minute ago? Why didn't I load that into the magazine? That would have been smarter, wouldn't it? That's okay. I'm not very smart, so it's fine. Whoop. I didn't even pick up the 9mm. Okay, and we're, we're running out of room quite rapidly, aren't we? Mm hmm. Now, my plan is to start putting stuff in this backpack and then carry the backpack in my hands, but... Oh, this is the wrong wrong way. Or is it? Do, do we have... We don't have the garage over here, do we? No, but we have some crates out here that I would like to check. No, not that. I don't have any ammo for that, and that's going to be extremely loud. Okay, let's see if we can't be a little bit sneaky right here. Because I just want to... Don't see me. I'm invisible. Do not see me and alert all of your friends. You you don't need... Good. You're walking straight towards me. Great. You're going to see me. Oh, maybe not. Ha-ha! Well, I didn't mean to jump there, but that's okay. Now, you... Whoa, what? Hey, you have my arrows. Come back. I need, I need those. Thank you. Now, can you have a screwdriver on you, sir? Not that there's really anything here to lockpick, but hey, a screwdriver. Thank you. Actually, I guess technically there is. Where Where is it? It's in one of the... That building, maybe? I don't remember. There are some security lockers here. Not very many, but there are some. Okay, well... I guess we're going to take a ride... Down there, because there be garages right there that may have stuff and things, possibly vehiculars. It'd be really nice if we could find a, a functional quad or something. Functional quad, actually just any kind of functional vehicle would be great. Now, where did I park my bicycle? Ah, there it is. Bicycle really doesn't stand out very well at all, does it? 
Let's see. Actually, I think we might be able to just ride around you. Since we can't put a battering ram on the bicycle, unfortunately. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? You now you plow into a zombie. Kills the zombie, but it also sends you flying over the handlebars. Yeah, several puppets there. You guys stay over there, please. Oh, there. Okay. Hmm. Well, crap. Because I need to go right over there. But y'all be kind of in the way. Could, could you not? That's not the button I wanted. Could you guys perhaps not be in the way? Oh. Okay, well, we got plenty of arrows, so let's let's get some work done here, I, I suppose. Start over here on one end and work our way across. Now, something else that I'm debating about. Let me know what you guys think on this. How did that miss? But as far as kind of adding a little bit of challenge anyway, I've been thinking about making it a rule that I can't come into these places in a vehicle and just mow down all the puppets with the vehicle. You know, I have to actually get out and, and deal with the puppets on foot foot because normally I would just come through an area like this if I had a, a vehicle you know a four wheeled vehicle I would just come through an area like this honking the horn and just plowing through all of the, the puppets And while that is, ooh, yes, please. While that is technically the best way to approach the situation, it also kind of takes some of the challenge out of having a bunch of puppets. You know, because if you can just come through and mow them down with a vehicle, then it's like, well, it didn't really have... You know, you're not actually having to deal with all of the puppets. And if we're going to have sentries turned off then I do want something that still makes these places a challenge. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm not opposed to having the sentries on. But to me, they, they don't really add anything to the game other than making it more difficult. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just not... I don't know. To me, they don't fit. You know, like the dropships. I have the dropships turned off, and I, I won't be turning the dropships on pretty much ever. Because the dropships are something... Hello? Okay, then. The dropships are something that nobody asked for. And I'm not real sure why the devs put it in the game. Because it's like, okay. You already have the sentries that are almost unkillable. They essentially are unkillable unless you have... I'm hungry. Unless you have, you know, a uh, an RPG with several rounds. Or... Maybe the M82, again, with several rounds. None of these things are easy to get. And that's just to take out one sentry. Well, with the dropships, you take out that sentry, and hey, the dropship brings in another one to replace it. And this is, you know, with, a, with an area like this, where you already have, you know... 
10 plus centuries. I don't remember how many we counted here, but uh, it was a lot. I know we counted at least nine. It may have been 12. I do not remember. But either way, the point is the centuries themselves are already difficult enough. Why add... Damn you, why are you in the bush? Why add a mechanism to respawn the sentries that are already extremely difficult to kill? It, it basically makes it to where there's no point in trying to fight the sentries at all. Because it's like, okay, you succeed in killing the sentry. Damn you, stop running away. You have my arrows. So you, su you succeed in killing a sentry. And then all of your work is just undone because, hey, a dropship comes in and, and brings another one. And then I really don't understand the whole concept of, hey, let's drop a sentry on your base. Because it's like, hey, you know your base that you spent hours upon hours building and all of the loot that you have in there that you've spent possibly days accumulating. Yeah, we're just going to drop a sentry on that and, and destroy everything that you've worked so hard for. I, I really don't understand the dev's thought process there. So the point is, I will never be turning any of that stuff on. The sentries themselves... Maybe. Like I said, it all depends on what you guys want. And right now, you guys have voted for no sentries. Which is my personal preference. I would rather have no sentries, but a lot of puppets. I'm still debating about upping the puppet numbers some more. Because if you guys remember before, when I had the puppet numbers set to 3x and the low player count mode on, this was literally like just a field of puppets. It, it was like, basically, you had a puppet for virtually each one of these bushes. You know, go check out some of my videos from a couple seasons ago, and you'll see what I'm talking about, for those of you that haven't seen that already. But there was just a ton of puppets. There's still quite a few puppets here, as is. I mean, you know, you, you've still got quite a few puppets, but we had, like, an army of puppets out here with that setting. Now, what I would really like is maybe kind of the puppet numbers that we currently have, but add armed NPCs in place of the sentries. I already have one of those, thank you. Mm, excuse me, I also have the hiccup, so I apologize for that. Hey, is that damaged? No. Okay. But yeah, I personally would really like to see armed NPCs as opposed to the sentries. You know, something that would still be a challenge and could still shoot back at you, unlike the puppets... but that you could actively fight and win against the these oh hi there the sentries there's not really a lot of winning against the sentries it's more evading hiding running away which i don't like i've never really liked enemies that are undefeatable and the sentries technically aren't undefeatable Especially not with the settings that we use with them, but hey, there we go. But they're still just a giant pain in the ass. You know, another M9. Ooh, hey, a lockpick. I will happily take that. Can I attach you here? No, drat. Ooh, and we're about out of 
inventory space. Yeah, that's, that's all wonderful. Considering we got more Quonset buildings here. Hello. There's a car jack. That's handy. I, I do need that. I, I will be... Ooh. Crap, I don't have enough space for that stuff. I don't... Th yeah, you're going to take up a lot. Oh, drat. Curses. What if I move you down here and move you down here and you down here? And we put you over here. You're too heavy. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Alrighty then. Fine. Uh, you all go up here. No, you. That one. And then you can go in here. Why can you not go in there? <sighs> Fine. Damn it. Why am I doing this the hard way? I'm I'm being stupid. But you guys know me. I'm just a big old stupid. Okay, does it take up more room than I'm allowing for there? It must be. Yes. I hate that. It takes up three and a half squares. That's very frustrating. I don't care about that at all. There's a tire repair kit. What are these things for? Hmm. What are the tire repair kits for? Because they don't repair your tires. The You can repair your tires with just the toolboxes like you repair the vehicles normally. Now, some of you have said that they are to repair a flat tire. The problem is you don't get flat tires that I've ever seen. If if your tires get damaged enough, they just disappear. They they despawn. You know, they get destroyed. They don't ever go flat. We actually tested that after one of the live streams. We shot at one of the tires, thinking, okay, well, if you shoot it a few times, you know, it'll go flat. And then you can fix it with the tire repair kit. No, it just gets destroyed. And then we had to get a new tire. So what are what are these for? Are they even use, usable in-game currently? Because I have not found a use for them, so I am not going to take them. Unless I just have an abundance of free space. And I'm planning to go to the trader's. Now, a car repair kit I will take normally. How much room do you take up? More than we have. <laughs> Stop punching things, you stupid. Okay. Well, we're going to have to just start putting stuff in the backpack then, huh? Here, this can be for vehicular stuffs. Yeah. There you go. You know what? Here. You go in there, too. What other stuff do I not need at the moment? Stuff and things. Uh, you can go in there. Perfect. Because I don't need to be hold. Oh, crap. I'm not going to be able to carry that on the bicycle. That sucks. Well, what if we just don't take the backpack? That's going to suck, but we could just not take the backpack. Could, could you go in there, please? Thank you. Damn it, stop putting them in the wrong thing, you stupid. Oh. How 
can we rearrange things here? Because we have enough room, we just don't have enough room in the correct stupid thing in the correct configuration. Stupid carjack! Why? Why do you have to be so difficult? <sighs> Just go up one, thank you. You go over here. Can you rot you can't rotate in this spot, can you? Yes, you can. Fantastic. Problem is you still can't fit. Cause we need a solid block of space. Stupid car jack. Aha! Okay, that'll that'll do, I guess. I really don't like leaving the backpack, but oh well. I just use the backpacks for hay. For organizing inventory anyway, so screw it. We're not really losing anything. No, that one has more uses. Ooh, a tourniquet. I will take that, because I'm really good at getting injured. Ooh, you're full usage. Okay. Oh, we have more space down there in the camo jacket. Oh, we got a little bit more down here, too. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Well, we have another garage to check still. Not that I, hi, not that I need anything more from the garages, but I do want to check to see if there might be a vehicular in the R. Damn it. Stop making me waste my arrows. Driver. Ha ha! How many screwdriver uses do we have now? Let's see. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic! Terrific. We got eight screwdriver uses. Hot diggity. Well, that's unfortunate. Quite often I've found like a dirt bike in here. I, I really, I, I don't need those, nor can I carry them. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, what, I've, I've never actually used the rebar cutter. There's that useless thing. I mean, I guess you can sell the tire repair kits. Right? Right. Okay. Okay. That would be... Hey, you're a thing. Oh, you weigh a lot. Okay. I mean, I don't really need it. But I, I want it, though. Is that enough room? Probably not. Yes, it is. Hot diggity dang. Would you look at that with your eyes? So we got... Okay, we have enough left for three squares. All right. Ooh, money. Ah. <sighs> I wish I could use those. I'm trying to decide if it's worth checking any of the Quonset buildings because we can't carry any more weapons. 
I mean, I guess technically we could carry a long gun there. And I'm I could probably rearrange some stuff to where we could carry a another pistol here. Or some ammo. So let's let's check one. How about that? Oh, we check one. And we'll see what we come up with. Oh, good. Two of you. Where are you? Okay. Oh, you don't go behind the boxes. Coming over here. I learned my lesson from up at the uh, the cement factory. What I should have done with the cement factory is I should have tried to get a running jump and get across the um, you know. Go over the railing. Crap. Go over the railing and uh, try and actually escape from Happy or put some distance between us. But I didn't know if I would be able to make that jump. And so rather than risk it and plummet to my doom, whoa, we're really low on arrows. So I guess we'll take these and, and decrease. You shush. Shush. Thank you. Now, you and your friends have some of my arrows, and I need those back very badly, apparently. I did not realize how badly I needed arrows. Hey, you don't have anything useful on you. Whoop, hey, there's an arrow. Thank you. And there's another arrow. Okay. We're back up to almost a full stack of arrows. That's good. Hey. You're not what I needed, but I'll put you on that for now. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Do we have any shotgun ammo on us? Can we load this at all to just clear up a slot no fair enough just put the thing away ooh hey non pink military boots let's go with those There we go. Much better. Yeah, that, that looks a little better. Hmm. You know, 
I do kind of like those, I think. Yeah, I think I like those a little better than the, um, the pilot glasses and the aviators. Ooh, I will take... The, ooh, yeah, we got three of them now. Fantastic. I will happily take those. You know what? I will take those, too, because I have not been wearing earplugs. Now, I'm curious... If you shoot without hearing protection, I know it's particularly indoors here. Will your character actually develop hearing damage? That would be fascinating. If they actually have that implemented. I'm pretty sure they don't currently. But it would be interesting. Oh. 50 BMG ammo. I'm pretty sure we don't have room for anything else now. But we're going to keep looking because if we find something good... I'm pretty sure I already have one of those. That one's in really good condition. Thing is, I don't really care about the the block right now for whatever reason if i'm gonna carry a 45 this time god why you gotta be that pattern i hate that pattern if i'm gonna carry a 45 this time i would honestly like it to be the 1911 i'm not real sure why i just i would like it to be a 1911 And we don't even have room for the block anyway. Oh, we have room for absolutely nothing. Okay, fair enough. So I guess we're good here then for now. Because uh, I'm going to have to go back home and drop some stuff off and then come back, I guess. Either that or we just call it good for right now and we make our priority finding a vehicle. Not real sure where to look for one. Because, let's see. I think it was at this little house here. There's a, a vineyard there. And there was a rager there. But it had no front seat. And it only, uh, let's see, it had no alternator and no tires. Well, it had one tire. So it, it needs some stuff. Um, it did have an engine and I believe a battery. So that's good. Uh, the big thing is the front seat. So we need to find a front seat and tires. Now, we might be able to find that in uh, like this town over here. Because that town there, it's got multiple vehicle spawns. So maybe we go hit that town next time and see what we can come up with. Because we're obviously not going to find more vehicle parts here. And I don't know that we're going to find too much in the way of just better guns here. In theory, we should. But we have to have a way to carry them. And I'm going to get real tired of having to go all the way back to base every time our backpack gets full. So realistically, we need a better vehicle. Actually, that little place up there has a vehicle spawn way up at the top of the hill there. There's a little grocery store at the top of that hill, if memory serves, that usually spawns a vehicle. So maybe we go check that out. And then go check this town down here. So I think that's going to be the plan for next time. 
Uh, but let me know what you guys think of the sentries being off. That's what most of you guys have voted for, is the sentries to be turned off. Um, but let me know what you think of that and the current puppet numbers and the current loot situation. This seems like a pretty reasonable amount of loot to me, because we're still finding several things that are empty. We're not just finding a crap ton of stuff, you know. Um, but let me know what you guys think of the loot. If we should turn it down a little bit, like maybe to 1.5, or if it's good enough as is. Um, and let me know if you think we should up the puppet numbers some more, since we have the sentries turned off. Also, let me know what you guys think on the suggestion I had before, where I'm not allowed to just drive through a, a location and, and take out the majority of the puppets with a vehicle. I have to go in on foot and deal with them that way. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh, uh, the, the exception to that rule would potentially be cargo drops. Because... We, uh, speaking of cargo drops, is there one? No. But because cargo drops are time sensitive, I, I may suspend that rule or make an exception to that rule for the cargo drops. So let me know what you guys think of all of that stuff for settings and rules and whatnot. And uh, we can go from there. Ooh, there's a lot of you guys in there. Now, where's my bicycle? Hey, did you steal my bike? Excuse me, that's not what I wanted. Excuse me, where's my bicycle? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all of those ideas and the current settings. And uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully I can find my bicycle. Oh, I parked it off to the side somewhere, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Well, I will find that after the video, so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me search aimlessly for however the hell long it takes. Um, but anyway, uh, I guess that's all I got to say, so I'm going to go ahead and plug all of the links in the description as per usual. Damn it. Um... We have St. Jude Children's Hospital and Wounded Warrior Project, both linked in the description, as well as the GoFundMe set up by my friend William to help pay for his cancer treatments. So if you would like to support any of those causes, links are in the description. And then we have uh, my Discord server, just for the YouTube channel, so if you just want to chat with me or the other people on that server, uh, check that out. And then we also have the Wolfpack Discord server. Hey, there's my bike. Which is for the multiplayer server that I sometimes play on. That's the one that we're going to be doing any of the uh, the multiplayer live streams on. It'll be on that server. And so if you'd like to check that server out, go follow the link there. It'll take you to the settings and the rules for the server. And uh, then we can get you set up if it sounds like something you'd like to to join. Uh, let's see. And then we have my wife's YouTube channel where she does rain videos, relaxation videos, and paranormal videos. And last but not least, we have Alfredo Gaming. And he does scum videos and uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. So if any of that stuff sounds interesting to you guys, go check out the links in the description. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.